but Vita 3K emulator officially killed my tablet. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Aprex here. Today, I'll be discussing some ways to improve performance and gameplay experience in the Vita 3K emulator Android. Even though minimum requirements of Vita 3K are very low, unfortunately, the game just don't work as well most of the time while emulating games on Vita 3K. You just see a terrible FPS result. The games are glitched. There are some graphical issues. Along with that, there are freezing issues, crashing issues. But I do have some ways to fix some of those issues and improve your FPS while emulating games in Vita 3K Android. Let's begin. As you can see, I have already set up the Vita 3K emulator on my Samsung Android tablet. It has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, but frankly, its performance is not that great. It's not comparable with the real Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 uh, Android devices because Samsung likes to cap its performance. I have also added Uncharted Golden Abyss to my library of games in Vita 3K Android. Just go to configuration and click on setting. Now let me just zoom in so you guys can see better. Let's go to the CPU option and make sure the enable optimization option is turned down. Let's go to GPU section. Vita 3K Android works with the Vulkan renderer. You cannot change it to OpenGL and the default GPU drivers are completely trash. So what I recommend you guys is to just go ahead and click on add custom driver and just select any kind of turnip driver or uh, Adreno drivers. This option will only work if you guys have a device with Snapdragon processor. Now my device as I mentioned has Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 so I cannot really use turnip Adreno drivers. I'll have to use the Adreno 676.12 custom GPU driver. Once we choose our GPU driver, we'll need to click here and select it right here. Afterwards, just go ahead and click on save. Now we'll need to re restart uh, our Vita 3K to apply the custom driver. Without custom driver, the games work like trash. So I definitely recommend you guys use custom drivers. I'll be also testing Vita 3K Android on Mali GPU later on. So let's hit 250 likes on today's video and, and I'll upload the video of testing Vita 3K on low-end Android devices with MediaTek processor, Snapdragon 660 and also Snapdragon 450. Now you can also enable anti-aliasing but I wouldn't recommend you do so. Afterwards, we have internal resolution scaling. You can increase it according to your device specification. You cannot emulate any kind of game at 8x internal resolution. 1x is default but I'll be keeping it at 2x because hopefully my device is capable in handling that. Use shader catch make sure to enable it click on save. With the help of shader catch the game will lag for the first time when you start playing it but afterwards uh, once all the shaders have been stored the game will become way smoother. Now we don't have to do anything here. Let's go to emulator. Audio backend is Cubeb. Texture cache has been enabled. Enable performance overlay as well. Uh, we'll keep it at maximum. Uh, we like to see how much performance are we getting. We'll click on save again. Make sure to save every time you change a setting. And I guess that's about it for the main settings of Vita 3K Android. Now I can zoom out. We'll need to restart the emulator to apply our custom driver. So let me do that. Now let's reopen the Vita 3K Android. Let's click on Uncharted Golden Abyss. Now you have a lot of options. We'll click on the start option and let's see how well does the game work now. Now Vita 3K also has this wide screen and freezing issues like as you can see suddenly the emulator and my entire device froze. So currently there is no fix for that unfortunately because it's error with the emulator itself and as the time passes the emulator will get way stable than what it is right now. My entire Android tablet has just been frozen into pieces now. I can't even press back. I am unable to turn off my tablet so I guess yeah now it reacted <laughs> okay so as you can see it's not turning on I guess that's the end of that tablet we'll not be talking about that but we'll be continuing the tutorial anyways <laughs> this is my Android device so let's try playing Uncharted Golden Abyss I'm again using a custom uh, turnip driver with the latest version of Vita 3K Android and let's see how well does the game actually work now as I told you before Samsung makes crappy tablets so that's why the entire tablet froze and it's not even turning on <laughs> like what the heck bro but as you guys can see right here our game has successfully started on my Android device Let's just go ahead and touch to start. And as you guys can see, the game has successfully started. It's working at straight up 30 FPS, no frame drops and with minimal graphical issues. I would be very happy to show you guys this gameplay on a bigger screen, but my tablet is dead. I think the device was freezing because I kept internal resolution at 2x, even though I keep the same internal resolution on my Android device but I'll decrease it to 1x or maybe it just doesn't support the Adreno 676 uh, custom driver so I'll just go ahead and close 
let's try uncharted again and see if it works this time press x okay touch on the screen here we go guys after decreasing the internal resolution the game has started successfully that's how you know guys uh, this android tablet is just a fraud <laughs> snapdragon 8 gen 1 and it cannot handle 2x resolution uh, ps vita emulation and still as you guys can see it's taking so much time to load and touch to start i don't know what's going to happen i think it's due to the shaders compiling bro i don't, i'm not really sure but yeah if you have an android device and not a samsung tablet these settings should work well but i just have more problems now so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and comment down below rest in peace samsung tab asset now i'm trying to reopen vita 3k android again with the default drivers not adding custom drivers because there are few drivers which vita 3k doesn't really fully support i am guessing the issue was with the custom driver which we added but still as you can see the emulator froze again even with default drivers so i guess vita 3k emulator is just not really optimized uh, for snapdragon 8 gen 1 so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching see you guys later goodbye